Hey guys, I'm Josh Horowitz, welcoming you to a very special reunion. Nine years ago, Teen Wolf premiered on MTV and a fandom was born. This reunion is for you guys, so let's get right to it and bring this pack back together. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Davis, creator of Teen Wolf, say hey. hey how's it going? We have Max Carver in the house. Hey, Max. Yeah. Harley Carver, say oh. hey. Oh. Arden Cho is with us, of course. Oh. He goes by Coach, but he also goes by Orny Adams. Hey, Orny. Yeah. Hey. Ian Bowen, AKA Peter Hale is with us. Yeah. Hello, hello. Ryan Rambo, say hi. Ryan. Dylan Sprayberry. Whoa. The Duke. Yeah. Cody Christian is with us, of course. Yeah. 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 Hello. Shelly yeah. Hennig, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Melissa yeah. Ponzio. Yeah. Yeah. Sheriff Stolinski is here, Wyndon Ashby. Yeah. Yeah. We can't do this without Holland Roden. Hi, Holland. Oh, hey. We have Styles Stolinski here, yeah. Dylan. Hey. Oh, yeah. And you can't do Teen Wolf without this guy, Scott McCall, Tyler Posey. Yeah. Yeah. This is so cool. Well, that's all the time we have. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, good. It was good seeing you guys. Peace. Okay. This is awesome. Before we get into the, the actual conversation, I do want to tell the audience that this reunion is also about giving back and supporting folks in need during this time of crisis. So if you're able, we want you guys to please click the link to donate to First Responders First, which will provide essential supplies, resources, and equipment needed for protecting frontline healthcare workers and their patients. Good cause. There you go. So, um, Tyler, I feel like you're kind of responsible for this. We all noticed your tweet from a couple months back. I'm going to quote it here. Hey, MTV, I think it's time to bring Teen Wolf back for new episodes. First Jersey Shore family vacation, now Teen Wolf High School reunion. I'm ready and 28, so it's an appropriate age. <laughs> so this isn't exactly that, but this is the next best thing. What was going through your head when you tweeted that? Did you just, were you missing the gang or what? Yeah, it was. I was binging Jersey Shore. And then I started Teen Wolf. And I don't know if it's because I haven't seen it in years, but I was looking at it from such a different perspective. I cried at every single thing that you were supposed to cry at, maybe more. And I really was really proud of every single one of us. Like we really did a cool, really, 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 really good job. Then uh, that's, where, that's where that came from. Like I, I really, you know, it's been years and I, I was in it. We were there, I knew how cool it was and how hard it was and how fun and how dedicated we all were, but like, f man, I tip my hat to every single person here and who also isn't here. Like, I'm really proud of us. What's it like to just see all these faces? This is, must be so surreal for all of you guys. <laughs> I'm loving it. It's really, really, really cool. I think we probably connect more than people think that we do. Um, and that's, you know, just says a lot about the relationships that we form, but, you know, Posey and I zoom almost every week with the, the, the thing that we've got going on. I talk to Holland all the time, Shelly. We're still kind of like this for the most part, in my opinion. Who else has watched the show in the last couple of years? I've been like revisiting a lot of the episodes. It's such a trip, first of all, too. Like, I mean, it's always amazing to revisit just because like the memories and for me too, it's just like such a special thing. It was my first thing that I ever did ever, you know, as an actor. So uh, especially watching those like first couple seasons too. I was saying to Tifos like recently on the phone, I was literally just like, it's crazy, dude. Like, I'm like watching you and me like learn how to act like on the fly. Like, and that's like literally what it was. You know, I always think about the show being so like, it was like, uh, it was like our school. Like, and I, I remember being 19 then and like, you know, starting to act, but I'd never had acted before. I just graduated and was like giving it a shot. And I was very, like, it was not lost on me that like this was like, an amazing opportunity to like try to get really good at like what I wanted to be really good at, you know? Right. And I think me and Tyler shared that and we were the same age and just like, and Tyler's energy too, just leading the show from day one was just like, I cannot say how instrumental that is to the entire series and how much we all love each other, how much heart the show had throughout. It, it, that heartbeat was pumped by Tifos from day one, you know? Uh, so we have to always bow down to Tyler for that. Remember the first like press thing that ever came out about our show is something like, like Teen Wolf rounds out cast with Teen Nobodies or something like, <laughs> like that. Nothing ever like positive was, you know, I don't think there was like a single eyebrows not raised when our show was coming out. Jeff, was this a tough show to cast? Cause you know, as Dylan said, there was varying degrees of experience. How do you cast a show like this so well? Uh, chemistry. The first person we really needed to cast was Tyler. 
and make sure that we had like a young guy who could play an innocent looking teenager and also a werewolf that could look like he could rip your throat out with his teeth. We, we knew it was going to be really good. Like, and I think the cast knew it too on the day of the network test. When we saw Tyler and Dylan together and knew that they had such good comic timing and such good rapport and the, the romance between Posey and Crystal, um, I thought, okay, we've got a chance. <laughs> For uh, the quote unquote adults that, that, that were on the show at the beginning, was it weird to like be working with a bunch of young people? Like, were you worried about the prospect of working with kids that were teenagers that were sort of, sort of still finding their way? In the cast read through, you know, you go in and it was just like, I went, wow, this is, this is something. And I think I asked you guys if you want to go get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, we yeah. can't get a beer. We're like, At 18. <laughs> yeah, we were 18. Me and Tyler like still talk about that to this day. We were like, we like loved it that he asked us that. And we looked at each other and we were like, we're 18. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you can you can speak the truth now. Who gave you the most headaches over the years? <laughs> who was who was just a nightmare? Um, honestly, Tyler Posey's hair. <laughs> <laughs> just figured out how to style it. Look, just figured it out. I got inspiration from Shelly. First season, we we couldn't understand it. He looked different in every shot, and we we started calling it a living creature. We were gonna give it its own cast chair. Um, <laughs> by like season three, we learned like the. The hair people learned how to finally do it. My hair's so dry, it needs <laughs> like con leave-in conditioner, like a shitload of leave-in conditioner. I remember, I remember Russell saying he looks good wet. Yeah, so dry otherwise. By now, obviously, you guys have worked on all sorts of different projects. How is the Teen Wolf set in particular different than other kinds of shows, the way they run or the vibe? It trained us really well. It was so cold, and we had to get so many stunts and dialogue at the same time that I feel like I don't know. Other people have done a lot of action on this, on this Zoom. So I'll, yeah, but I don't know. I, think, I feel like really well, well trained <laughs> coming off Team Wolf. Cody, what about for you? How did it? Was it, did it feel it, different? It, it was an adventure, man. Uh, this this set has been by far one of my most favorable to be on. It was work, but it never felt like work. And I think that's the best type of work, man. And like that's as simply as I can put it. Everybody was on point, showed up, did their thing, but like everyone enjoyed. Uh, the process so much no one ever wanted to leave and that's like one of my fondest memories finishing a day's worth of work and then staying on set for three to four hours just to hang out with everybody just to have conversation just to be in that sort of environment man uh, there's a certain energy there's a certain tone on set you know what I mean it was a very loving place so um, very very fond memories of it. Orny, when you were hired, was it always under the, the, the thought that you were going to get some room to play around with the, the dialogue that you're going to be able to improvise? Uh, I, I didn't really ask. I just sort of, you know, did my thing. But, <laughs> I, you know, I, I think there was a lot less improvising on this than people probably think. You know, the scripts were really tightly written and, um, you know, the actors are prepared for those lines. So, you know, I, I would try and get away with stuff. I would run lines maybe... Uh, to Jeff or other writers the night before, and maybe they got in. But for the most part, the, the show was really uh, tightly written. And, you know, it's a tribute to the, to the writers. I'm curious, like, was there a turning point for the original cast here of, like, when you realized it was resonating with an audience? Because, like, I, I think back to, I saw a bunch of you guys at a bunch of Comic-Cons. That was always, like, a huge event. Like, what were the moments that really felt like, oh, it feels good on the set, but it's working with the audience. I, I, I honestly don't know, dude. It's such a blur. It was such like a, like a whirlwind of just working constantly, busy, and then flying off to somewhere to like do promotion. It was all so much fun. It's hard to like encapsulate that moment in one, one moment. But I think it was Comic-Con when we first walked out. I think it was our second year going. When we walked out and saw there, there was this massive, I don't know how many kids were there. Yeah, yeah. I think, I mean, like the first time we went to Comic Con, it was right before, it was before the show even came out, right? We had just done the pilot, Jeff, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And, it's and not yeah, we like, we like happened to get like uh, a slot in a big hall. Was it, it wasn't H, was it? Because it was empty. It was just <laughs> empty. No matter what it was, it was an empty hall. Like no one knew what our show was going to be. And again, I, I don't think people had like high expectations for it or anything. And, uh, and then flash forward a year, one year later, and all of a sudden we're just like, getting grabbed at and stuff. And it, it, it was like, it was like kind of uh, overwhelming, but it was cool to see that like, 
that we had such a strong kind of cults following, like how this little show that could kind of just like hit in a way that I think we all sort of like in our own little bubble when we were doing it, like knew it could and had faith in it, you know, and had faith in each other. But to see it actually land was uh, was just nuts. I would also imagine when you start to see fan art, tattoos, how many be your own anchor tattoos have you seen over the years, right? Tattoos um, are sick. It's amazing. That, that is, the tattoo part is really, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I'm sure other people have been asked, can you write something down because I want to make it into a tattoo? I mean, our, our fans are hardcore. Did you guys know that that scene, that that line would resonate at the time, be your own anchor? Are you surprised at the shelf life that that's had and how it, it just, it means so much to so many people? I have a confession. I don't think I read a script after season two. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the truth. Very, so, very <laughs> and I'm going to say, Jeff, I'm going to say something else because I, I thought of this earlier. I'm pretty sure I could name all the characters on the screen. Like, if I look, like, obviously, I know, like, uh, that's Dylan Stiles, and then, you know, but, like, some of these people, I don't, I don't even remember working with them. <laughs> like that's, and I, I was never going to tell this story, but, and then I'll leave it alone, but there were times, not only did I not read the scripts, but I thought I was allowed not to read the scripts because Coach had no idea what was going on outside of his universe. So I thought this kept it pure. But there was a lot that I never understood in the script. And I, I asked another director, a friend of mine, I said, I don't know what this line means. And the director said, just show up on the set, say it the way you want to say it. And if it's wrong, they'll correct you. And, and I did it. And, and it's one of the most quoted lines on the show. And the line is, the bigger they are, the bigger they are. And here's the I thing. Jeff and I got together recently, and Jeff said to me, the minute I knew you understood your character was when you nailed that line. The bigger they are, the bigger they are. And I didn't have the heart to tell you, Jeff, and I'm telling you right now, I have no idea what that line means. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, that's, that's the beauty of it, dude. I think that's why it works. Yeah. <laughs> most, of, most of my direction for Orny was just have him yell it. <laughs> Louder. Orny, also, I love the 180 from you, like, literally just went on about how great the scripts were and how tight it was. And then you just, like, said that you didn't read any. <laughs> well, because I read the first season and I trusted the script and the writers. Yeah. And, and I knew. I knew. <laughs> but, I mean, when people say your character is so funny on Teen Wolf, I, I, I really credit the writers because I think it's the way they put me in that show. The fact that people say there should be more coach, they're probably wrong. The, the fact that there was less is why it probably works. For, okay, for the folks that did join a little bit later, were any of you guys watching the show prior to joining? Yes. Uh, I, man, it was so crazy. Like, I remember one of my best friends, we would, like, skate. And literally, like, he was teaching me how to do a skating trick. I was just getting it. He's like, yo, what time is it? I think it was, like, 8 or something. He sprinted. He literally just sprinted. He's like, I gotta go watch Teen Wolf. And I was like, oh, oh my God. So I ended up going and watching it with him. And then like years later, I'm on the show. I'm extremely nervous. But like everyone said, dude, everyone's so cool. Everyone's amazing. So it, that nervousness just like, and it was just like fun. It was like a school. It was, it was a vacation. It was therapy. It was so, it was all encompassing for, for the artists and for, for the audience. And, Glad to be a part of it, for sure. I love you, dude. <laughs> there is something, actually, kind of what you just said. Like, the fact that you're in all of these high school sets, I feel like, like, I remember joining the show with Max, and suddenly you, you have that mindset as both, you know, the actor and as the character. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm going back to school. I was you know? a kid again. I was a yeah. kid again. I was allowed to be. Like, everyone had this, this uh, youthful just energy that was encouraged that I actually was just, it was a relief because, and I think it was also, you know, we were on the high school set, but everyone was just so comfortable with themselves and just, yeah, it was very, it was very freeing to be a part You're of You're talking it. about me, right? With the youthful thing? A hundred percent, especially with the stash. Love that stash. Uh, um, I don't think, I don't think I knew when I was 
getting myself into. I feel yeah. like I kind of stole from what you guys started. Like I just joined season three and here was all this, like this amazingness. And I was like, oh my God, I had no idea. All I knew is that I had heard the actors were amazing on the show. So I was excited about that. Cause at the time that's all I cared about. Just cool people, a nice place to be. And then I got there and I was like, holy <laughs> this is like a proper, incredible show with amazing people. I didn't know about the fandom. I didn't know that that was a thing. I didn't have an Instagram when I joined Teen Wolf. Like everything's just completely changed. I think it changed a lot of our lives. It yeah. reminded me of a lot of high school as well. Kind of like when I was a freshman and I'd go into the changing room and you're like, oh, I'm in high school now. And then everyone would just be like huge. And you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I remember the, job, main, <laughs> the main part like i remember getting the job and you're like all right it's gonna be chill it's team with whatever and jeff you created like the most hyper erotic masculine show i think you invented male shirtlessness on television <laughs> you guys all missed the shirtless scenes i'm surprised no, no one's shirtless today i don't think i, I ever did a shirtless scene yeah. i was actually shirtless a lot i think we'll do it <laughs> I came in that way and left that way as well. Who do you think was shirtless the most? Who logged the most hours? Ryan. I think Kelly. Someone's about to have come Ryan. Yeah. somewhere, Ryan. right? Yeah. Arden, for you, I mean, had you ever done that degree of like stunt work prior to coming to a, a project like this? Was there a big learning curve for you? No, I had not done that much stunt work. It, I was really thrown into it. I remember the best part of like leaving set would be like if I have to get gas. And I'd be like covered in blood and dirt. And I'd forget because we'd been on set for hours and I'm like pumping the gas and I just like, see people staring at me, looking at me like I had just left a murder crime scene. I'm just like. It's Teen Wolf. Sprayberry, who was the, who was the first person you bonded with on set? Um, I swear to God, if you don't say me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come over to your house <laughs> and I'm going to put my foot in your ass. <laughs> come on up. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, anyways. Uh, 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 wow, I got all hot and sweaty. <laughs> when I auditioned for Liam, I went to the networks and I met Dylan and Tyler uh, on the same day. They came in to, do, to read with me and it was really, really fun. But yeah, I met them when we were talking about like uh, skateboarding and talking about poop and talking about uh, like punk music. And I was like 15 or 16. And, like I literally came from school and I was so nervous. Like I, I was the type of a uh, kid that was getting nervous in every single audition, like shaking and like just freaking out. And they made me feel so like, like, uh, like I was with my friends at school. I just feel like that was even just a really big part of why I did well. Cause I bomb auditions so much from just being nervous. And I, I was like one of the very few auditions that I ever did where I didn't feel nervous at all. And it was because of them. Um, it's always funny to hear like from the actor's perspective of how the audition goes. Right. Because I mean, it's obviously like always completely different and completely down. <laughs> Though, because Jeff, confirm if I'm wrong, but I mean, I don't think there was a single second uh, that after Dill left the room that any of us were like not looking around going, yeah, I mean, that's completely the kid. You left the room and it was over. You walked into the room and it was over. I remember when your mom stopped showing up. And yeah, I, I, I had to really fight for that. <laughs> <laughs> Who took the most stuff from the set? Who's got swag in their house? Wait, Dylan, you have the best one. <laughs> yeah, Dylan, do you have the Jeep? I have the Jeep. Yes, I do. Uh, it's, among, uh, it's among other things I have, including what I'm wearing right now, which is the first shirt that you ever see Styles in on Teen Wolf. Uh, so I thought that was really... Uh, this one was a special one to me. I wanted to keep it. Also, I love the shirt. It's awesome. Uh, Styles had a lot of cool shirts, especially in the first couple of seasons. I grabbed, I grabbed a bunch of them, but yeah, it was important for me to take a lot of things from the shirt. I mean, like, uh, everyone who knows me closely, you know, knows that... Uh, my heart lies and dies with, with Timo. So, um, I, yeah, I mean, there was no way I was not taking that Jeep. <laughs> Luckily, there was not exactly a premium on it. They were like, take it. Uh, <laughs> I want there to be a day where, like, I'm just, like, sitting in a light in the Jeep. That would be a fan interaction that I would just uh, cherish. I mean, like, if someone, like, points it out and sees it and notices it, I mean, it'd be so cool with me. Kelly, yes. what, you, what you got over there? Huh? What you got? Oh, oh my God. Amazing. What are you talking about? <laughs> is there a full moon? Something in your mouth, I think. I don't know. I'm going to mute myself. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they look insane. I've not, I've ah. not worn them since 
I'm spitting everywhere. Did I spit on you guys? Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's what I took. That's it. I wanted the American flag short, but I don't know where they went. I took them. Oh. <laughs> you got my hair. You're wearing my <laughs> shorts. Come on, Tyler. What's going on? I'm working my way there. I'm trying. Trying hard. I have a couple swords, I think. Arden, did you steal any swords? No, I want one. I wanted the belts or oh, like the glow up nunchucks. I didn't get anything. I bet I could find you the belt. I think I'm the only person that has a map of Beacon Hills. I had the art department printed out. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. So yeah. cool. I've got, a, I've got my uniform and I've got the, uh, you know, the little name thing from my desk. Yes. I wanted the couch from my office because I slept on that thing a lot. Oh yeah, we all did. <laughs> yeah, that was a good couch. That was the lunch nap couch. Yeah, there was a lot of napping on that couch. Shelly, do people still send you a bunch of gifts, like the, the one-liners, et cetera? Do you still see a lot of that on social media? Of course. I mean, there's, there's, there's so many good moments that Jeff created for all of us. I, I really enjoyed like the Stalia, like this, the unique scenes that Dylan and I got to do, the freaking highlighter stuff. There's so many photos of me online with highlighters, which if you're not a Teen Wolf viewer, you have no idea what that's about. Um, you're missing out. People always want me to say, dear, um, that one line when I think Stalinsky asked me to, wh or what we wanted for dinner or something, and I said, dear, and obviously Styles got concerns, blah, blah, blah. Who wants to nominate a favorite episode? What episode would you guys nominate as the best episode of Teen Wolf? Dude, there's some heavy stuff with, with when Dylan's going, uh, when he's turning void. Like before, before it gets really evil and dark, it's really, really, emotional like jeff dude i don't know if it's because like uh i'm in a different place now but but that 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 whole that whole sequence uh, especially when he confuses melissa for his mom it yeah. is like yeah, yeah. uh beautiful like not it's it's sad but not it's just beautiful and that i think is a contender for one of my favorite episodes i've always said uh i think the episode's titled hotel california where it ends in hotel california. the motel and you know, he's got the gas on him, and just everything that happens intricately throughout the, those sequence of, of episodes leading up to it to that moment. Um, when I when I saw that uh, on TV after having been there and read it and all that, and then when I saw it, I was like, "Oh, we're onto something here." So I, I think that's my favorite episode. That was the first one that we had a parental advisory. It was like viewer discretion advised. I thought that was bad. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love that script. <laughs> Did you read that one? Motel California. I think for me, it's the first episode. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Because I, I watched that and I went, this is f***ing great. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when, when anything works in this business, it's, it's like, how did that happen? More than luck. Yeah. Yeah. The hardest ones to write, but also the the most fun too were the finales, trying to bring everything together. I loved the first season finale. I didn't even have it in the script that as Tyler hits Ian, his face sort of, sort of changes. That was Russell's idea. Um, and when we did it, I was like, oh, this is perfect. The finales for 3A and 3B, those were so much fun to do. Um, it was, they were so hard to do as well. We would often have three units shooting at the same time. Um, and everyone like scrambling to, Get, to get it done as quickly as possible. But yeah, there's a special place in my heart for the pilot too. So it was those first, first moments of seeing just how good they all were together. Like Dylan saying, no, a body of water. Yes, dumbass, a, a dead body. And uh, Tyler and Crystal together. So many moments, my God, I'm getting nostalgic. What about the ending? For the, those of you that, that were in the final scene in the parking lot in the rain, tough to let go. What do you remember about shooting that? Was that the final thing shot? The final scene was in the was at the um, the stages at night in the parking lot, and it was who was the in there? Because I went to watch. Tyler, Cozy, and Cozy, yeah, Tyler and Holland. Yeah, yeah Holland. me, Shelley, and Holland were like all stone or something, right? I remember, I remember like saying goodbye to everybody, like crying with this stone makeup on my face, and like picking off like all these like rocks and. Shit. Um, I got a confession. I never watched the final episode. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. I just was like, nah, didn't want to. 
Uh, yeah. So it's still going on for me. <laughs> Some of you guys have talked about watching the show in the last couple of years. Let's see how well you remember your own show. I'm going to ask each of you a trivia question. Josh, I have a technical question. Are we taking a break now and then announcing season seven? <laughs> Ernie, we, Ernie, we were saving that to the very end. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's start with you, Ernie, actually. Um, oh, don't, because I know nothing. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Start with somebody else. No, no, you got this. You, you got oh, this. No, you can't yeah, just pull Arnie, up. Arnie, you can do one or two. Uh, Come on, Arnie, you can do it. These are, these are pretty easy. Who does Coach hate most on the lacrosse team? Greenberg. It is Greenberg. Greenberg, correct. Uh, to the Dillons and Tyler, what were your lacrosse numbers? Nine. Eleven. Brian. Correct. Uh, Tyler, yes. still on you. What was the password on Scott's computer? Allison. Well done. Easy. And the username. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was the joke. Just um, in your pack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good, Ian. Charlie nice. and Max, Charlie and Max, can you name all of the members of the Twins' original Alpha Pack? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, Max, why don't you go for it? <laughs> oh man, I'll start you Deucalion. off. Deucalion, Holly, no, Holly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> we had the big Greenberg. Greenberg. Who is the guy? Uh, no. There's one you're no. not going to get. Fail. Give us a hint, Jeff. Jeff. It was Khalid. Deucalion. Ennis. And it was us. Ah. <laughs> there we go. We got there. Melissa, what season does your character first see Scott as a werewolf? Uh, that would be season two. Correct. Uh, Shelly, how long was Malia missing from her family when we were introduced to her? <laughs> I don't know that one either. <laughs> <laughs> Three years? I think I know. I think I know. Eight years? Oh. oh. Jeff? I think it was eight. Yeah. It was eight because I talked about that this, this girl's been missing for eight years, I think. But it's, I it's thought she was eight, eight when she went missing. I don't know. But, but then you're 16. So that's eight and eight. I think it were. I think that adds up. I think. That adds up. Arden, how did Kira discover her true powers? Uh. <laughs> Why she <laughs> I think it has something to do with Scott. Come on, Arden. Uh, was it when she got mad? Wait. <laughs> Shoot, I don't remember. <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh, I honestly don't remember. I feel like it was so long ago. I'm trying to think. <laughs> was it with the naked ladies? The ones that went in the Oh, room? no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. It's when, it's when Kira gets kidnapped. And then she accidentally electrocutes that one bad guy. Yes. Right. Yeah. She right? Got you got there. You made it. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Glowing. <laughs> right, she starts glowing, and that's when Scott's like, whoa, she's definitely not average mm -hmm. or normal. Whoa, she's hot! <laughs> <laughs> I thought. Like, whoa, hot. she's so hot, she's glowing! Holland, you're in the hot seat next. Holland, what color is Lydia's homecoming dress in season one? It is champagne with a black ribbon. Ooh. Very specific. Yes. Wow. <laughs> well done. I thought it was silver. I, I thought it was a blue was silver color. Jeff, Allison what, was silver. Jeff, what would you say? What color was it exactly? I would never argue with Holland Roden. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ian, who brings Peter Hale back to life? Uh, Lydia. You got it. Mm -hmm. Lyndon, I know you won't know the name of the last episode. What was the name of the first episode? Teen Wolf. I don't know. I never looked at the names of them. Alpha? <laughs> what was it called, Jeff? Alpha Pack? New Moon? Mm. Does anyone remember? New Moon? It was a moon. Was it the Blood first moon. moon? Full Moon? Wolf moon. First Moon? Wolf Moon. Wolf moon. Wolf moon. Never would have got that. Oh, first man. I, I blew it. Sorry. <laughs> I, titled I titled every episode. Kylan, do you know the title of the last episode? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely with Lyndon. I never even read the titles. Uh, <laughs> it, it's definitely... Um, Finale? A adolescent Wolf. Because they, they evolved from teenagers. <laughs> Mute him. Adolescence. Mute him. Not, not it. 
New Horizon, something like Macaria that. Macaria Volpina. <laughs> I just always remember that one. I don't know why. Did you say it? Oh, I know. I was just saying a random one. I'm going to mute Ask my mic. Google. Wait, what? I can't remember. Alexa, what the f is our show called? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josh, what was it? It was. Wolves of War. There you go. Yes, that's Wolves of War. Argue what with a I love how you're congratulating you that title in, you? Googling it. Cody, you, you get the last question. How many episodes of Teen Wolf were there? 100 <laughs> altogether? Correct. Well done. 100. Well done. We even had a cake one day at the end. They had yeah. cake versions of ourselves on the cake. We yeah, that photo's ourselves. on Instagram. Mm hmm. How many shows go 100 episodes? I mean, that's a, that's a real milestone. Like, to be part of a show that won 100 episodes, it's, uh, it's something I'm proud of. Jeff, what does the future hold for Teen Wolf? Have you thought Jeff, seriously? I have no idea how many messages I get. Where's seven of Teen Wolf? I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I couldn't imagine writing another episode. <laughs> have you thought seriously about any new iteration of Teen Wolf? Well, I know that there are entities out there that want it. Um, but whether it's from me or someone else, who knows? But uh, we're in a reboot culture, so everything, will be, everything gets made again, eventually. Let's go around uh, one last time. I want to hear from you guys about where you think your characters would be today. Uh, let's <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where's that mute button? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Orny, where, where's Coach today? How's he doing? What's he up to? Still, still there. Nothing changes. You know, in my mind, Coach was a character that had been in Beacon Hills for hundreds of years and just saw, you know, these <laughs> idiots cycle through. Every <laughs> and I could give a sh I could give a shit about any of them because in a couple of years, there'll be more people. I mean, Coach Lord. is Beacon Hills. <laughs> oh, my God. Shelly, where's Malia today? Is she still with Scott? What's she up to? Oh, right. Relationship-wise, I didn't even think about that. Um, I feel like she's playing both of them. <laughs> both of... Oh, Scott like and Styles. No, I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, I was prepared to say I've always imagined Malia working as like a prison guard. Like, just likes the discipline, likes to assert her aggressive nature. But, um, yeah, I think... Well, you know, she ended with, with Scott. Maybe she's, maybe she's there, but m maybe they're in a thruple. <laughs> or if, what's a foursome with, with Lydia? I don't know. We've got options, guys. Somebody else go. <laughs> Arden, have you thought about where Kira would be? Um, I hope Kira's somewhere kicking ass, but I think last she was with the Skinwalkers? I, yes. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> 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 but, yeah. Here is back in Beacon Hills fighting okay. other Kitsumes. Is that true? Did we just leave you with skinwalkers? Is that what yeah. happened? I think so. I think she was like, be right back, Scott. <laughs> I think Kira has to do something epic, though. She had way too much power to just be like, I'll be right back. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we wanted to do a spinoff with Kira. Let's do uh, it. I'm ready. <laughs> let's hear from uh, Dylan Sprayberry. What do you think of uh, Liam's uh, future? I feel like he, he was always really serious about lacrosse. I think that was always something he intended to do. I always kind of felt like maybe he would have ran off to uh, London to go find uh, Hayden, his his girl, his ex girlfriend. Aww. I always felt like that would be such like a you know like a romantic you know like f film type thing to do. Nice. Did Hayden also go to London? <laughs> what? Did she go to London? Didn't she or no? Oh. Everyone did, went to London. Did Everyone we send multiple to characters to London? I went to London. In London, London Jeff. London. Wait, no, Colton and Jackson ended up in London with um with Ethan. Yeah. And, yeah. Where did she yeah. Did and we're that. still there, since you're gonna ask me anyway. We're shacked up in that beautiful apartment. I don't know how two 18-year-olds could afford but <laughs> quarantining together, making sweet, sweet love. Yeah. Things are good. And we have a seance for Aiden every once in a while, because rest in peace, brother. <laughs> Kylan, where's Mason today? Um, I think Mason is like hopefully going strong with Corey. And dude, I think he can't go back. Like, you can't go do normal human stuff after you get like slammed by a big berserker and turn invisible. Nah, yeah, he's doing something. Like, he's like investigating, super smart, 
smarter than me, dude. So I don't know. Like he's he's probably doing some kind of like maybe studying like psychology, mythology, and like just being like a Beacon Hills beacon of wisdom, supernatural wisdom. That's where Mason wants to be. Uh, let's hear from Ian. Ian, where's Peter? Um, I think Peter got so wrapped up in in all the action and all the characters and people that he's probably trying to, to get that going again. So I imagine he split to Paris and he's like wandering around outside the Moulin Rouge late at night looking to wrangle up some, some new gear and then just like start the whole thing all over again. Right. No, no, this is where's Peter, not where's Ian. Where's Ian? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? what? <laughs> Fine line. Max, I guess uh, we don't have an answer from you. I mean, I guess we know the answer. Where would you have liked him to be if he were still around? Yeah, alive would be nice. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's a stupid question. Uh, also, <laughs> again, just in reviewing the show, Aiden's death is one of the all-time greats as well. Uh, that scene, holy f sorry. True. Well, thank, thank God you said that. 100%, right? Uh, your guys' performance in it, I mean, it's the whole thing, and then Holland running out after, and just the whole, the, I mean, it's, it's an amazing scene. It really is. It's, it's up there with one of the all-time team of deaths, if not possible top. Might be. Cody, have you thought about what happens with or where Theo is today? Yeah, I'm just looking for some friends, man. <laughs> That's it. Just, just a nice little pack to feel at home with. He's still friends with Scott? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's thinking about texting him. Probably doesn't. <laughs> trying to casually run in. Be like, hey, man, you got any open spots available for me? <laughs> Lyndon, how's, how's the sheriff? How's Sheriff Stolinski? Is he still protecting Beacon Hills? Yeah, he, I probably just came home from the station and cooking dinner for Melissa, and then Scott and Styles are coming over for dinner. Okay. And uh, we're just kind of living life. Melissa, what do you think? Are you, uh, is Melissa still a nurse? Uh, yeah, she was one of the yeah. only employees at Beacon Hills Memorial Hospital. <laughs> Still gigging it there. She can't leave. <laughs> Might be a great time to mention the, the frontline workers that were supporting you. Yeah. Again. Melissa needs well her PPE, done. so donate. There you go. First responders first. Click on that button. Just Wherever click. that button is. It's right there. Click it, okay? Click that button, y'all. Do the right thing. I think every single character spent some time at Beacon Hills Memorial Hospital. And mm -hmm. uh, it was, a, the, you know, the hospital was a character really on the show. So, um, and I know that everybody wants to thank the first responders here. Thank you very much. During this time, we wouldn't be here without them. Claps all the way around. Definitely. Yeah. Holland, uh, we know Lydia had been accepted to MIT uh, beyond that. Well, obviously in 2020, she's solving the Corona vaccine and uh, <laughs> telling people not to inject themselves with Lysol. I'm going to go ahead and put that up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. O'Brien, where's Styles today? Uh, I've been thinking during this, uh, and I think I would like for him to have like taken over as sheriff. Lyndon, I mean, if you're cool with being retired at this point, it hasn't no, been that long. Dude, I, I think that that would be great. I think I can be retired. You're yeah. doing it now. Yeah. All right, so I relieved my dad. Uh, yep. I like the fact that I took over the sheriff spot uh, for Beacon Hills, and I refuse to drive a squad car. I drive the Jeep. <laughs> Bingo. Yeah. yeah, and Tyler are stepbrothers, and that's what we always wanted to be. Yes. Uh, what a life. <laughs> it's kind of how it is now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm a sheriff, and we're stepbrothers. <laughs> Tyler, where's Scott now? I didn't have an answer for this, because I have no idea. Like, it'd be cool if he stayed on the path of, like, the hero and, and, and like, I don't know, the president or some shit. But I think he was pretty stressed out. I think he needs a break. I think he needs to live in his 20s for a little bit. So I think that, like, he takes a little break from everything and just goes to Hawaii and just, like, lives there and relaxes for five years or something like that until he's, like, 25. And his, he has his stepbrother and his stepdad and his mom there. And we're, like, making... Uh, Macaroni salad <laughs> oh. and, and barbecue and we're surfing and he needs to take a step back and like take everything in. And I, I don't think okay, I got a suggestion. Why don't we just do this? I'm ready. We'll go to Hawaii, hang out and uh, surf and eat macaroni salad. We eat plate lunch, brother. Yes, sir. Jeff, do you want to, is there, do you know where the characters are? Did you, did you want to, I want to hear your take. Oh yeah, Jeff, what do you got? Um, Good God, I have no idea. 
I imagine. Better start writing. I, I imagine Scott is off somewhere, leading a new pack, Boy. and saving the world as always. It was always supposed to be a sort of, and the adventure continues sort of storyline, but um, yes, the the writer himself is taking a break. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't chicken out on this. He's got, you're just dodging. You're dodge, 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 dodge. He's got dodge. ideas. He's got ideas up there. I can tell. Tyler, you've been practicing a new, uh, a new song for us, a new tune. Yeah, I actually learned. I I learned the Teen Wolf theme song uh, one night, and it, it. I didn't know how hard it was going to be. It took me like three days to nail it, and I burned a, a, a blister into my finger and like tore my callus off that I've been working on for like twelve years. I've been playing. Started playing guitar, but I learned it. And I'm probably going to it up. But I recorded it also, and it's really cool. So I'm going to put that out. Before we say goodbye, I want to remind the folks watching, please click the donate button if you're able to and contribute to the first responders first. You know, we're all obviously all in this together. This is a crazy time. Um, and, you know, do what you can if, you, if you're able. I want to thank all of you guys. Obviously, we've talked about, uh, you know, the love you guys have for this show. But we wouldn't be here if the fans didn't uh, have this passion for the show that remains. Um, you know, it's, it's rare for a show to connect with fans in the ways that this show did. I could always tell when I saw you guys at Comic-Con and other places, and I'm so thrilled. It speaks volumes that you guys wanted to come together for this cause and just to see each other. So thank you all for your time today. This was a blast. I hope you guys had a good time. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, guys. I love all you guys. Tyler, play us out. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Amazing. Yes. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Oh. Dan 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 dan. Dan 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 dan. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Thank you.